Of course, with all the brand new skins and cosmetics coming out in the Fortnite over here at USK, we will be gifting subscribers. So if you guys want to get a chance to get gifted a skin or a new cosmetic, make sure that you guys drop a like and then also comment down below free gift as well as your Epic Games ID. Fucking pop it, you know it's wrong, but you'll never ever stop it. She got a grip in my heart, she snatched my locket. Heartbroken kid used to tote that pistol. Still up in the hood, switch to a pencil. But I always have shooters. Lady. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Idra. Welcome back to another video over here on the USK channel. So, in this video, guys, we have some more season 10 news, man. We've already covered that season 10 is actually going to be delayed due to them updating the engine, essentially making graphics cards, a lot of the older graphics cards, actually obsolete that will not be able to run Fortnite anymore. Now, we have some leaks about the season 10 trailer and some possible season 10 trailers trailers that were actually made by Fortnite. You guys know that to the end of every single season, there's trailers that get put out that are either fan made or either leaked by Epic Games. I'm going to be showing you guys a few of them that are possibly leaked by Epic Games as they do look pretty legit, man. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments if you guys think these are trailers are real, as I personally don't really know because honestly, these look like they could have been made by an Epic Games, obviously, design team. They look that good, so I'm not exactly sure. Let me know if you guys are hyped down in the comments for season 10 man i know for a fact i am we're basically going to be going over the theme of season 10 essentially what is going to be happening in it towards the end of season 9 to the beginning of season 10 as well as just some clues and stuff like that regarding the polar peak monster as well as the pressure print robot in the fight that is going to be happening the major fight that is going to be happening later in the video so make sure that you guys watch till the end if you guys don't want to miss out on anything man because i know for a fact that you guys definitely want to hear everything that's going to be happening for season 10 before we get into the video though man we have some major announcements going up on usk very soon so make sure that you guys follow our twitter and instagram up on the screen right now and also down in the description if you guys want to take a look at what's happening behind the scenes there's also some news that's going on regarding usk so yeah guys also drop Drop a like if you guys go on to enjoy the video and subscribe if you guys want daily Fortnite content and turn on the post notification bell so you guys get notified every time we upload. And without further ado, let's actually jump into the season 10 trailers of Fortnite. Like I said, these trailers do look pretty well. Honestly, they're so high quality that like I said, they look like they could have been made by an Epic Games design team. I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Without further ado though, let's actually roll the trailers. So here's the first one. Obviously, this kind of looks like that um, Bunker Jonesy. Obviously, he trimmed his beard and whatnot. It looks like that he's on a deserted island in the battle bus is actually there. He was left with the flare gun. He shoots the flare gun and he actually makes the battle bus fall down. That's a pretty funny trailer, man. And honestly, it looks so high quality, dude. Like, I'm, I'm super hyped if that's actually going to be like a teaser or something like that. That would be sick. Anyways, though, we're going to roll the second trailer right now. Make sure you guys stick around to see it.
No, as you guys can tell by this next trailer right here, it literally looks like that Godzilla or, you know, something like that is actually going to be uh, destroying the Fortnite map, man. It looks like the Polar Peak monster for sure, because as you guys can tell, it was after the eruption of the volcano. And, um, you know, it just it totally looks like, dude. That this is actually the polar peak monster man obviously whoever this is goes to pleasant park hides in the basement the monster literally destroys the whole entire house except the basement and then the very end you can see him through the squint of the character's eyes so it literally looks like dude that this polar peak monster is going to be destroying the whole entire fortnite map like i said this one is insanely well put together as well and i would not be surprised if this was made by somebody over at epic games and stuff like that it totally like honestly dude i'm amazed i'm literally amazed it looks so real i mean it looks relevant to this time and i saw this on reddit so i thought why not showcase it i'm not exactly sure like i said if this one is real however let us know what you guys think down in the comments though now let's actually jump into some news regarding season 10 of fortnite and actually what might be happening towards the end of season 9 and the beginning of season 10 Let's actually jump straight into that, man. Make sure you guys stick to the end if you guys want to hear all the leaks about Season 10, guys. So first off, right now, we're going to actually head into Neo Tilted. Now, Neo Tilted is pretty relevant, actually, because it holds a lot of stuff that a lot of you guys might not have actually noticed just by playing the game casually and whatnot. So if we actually head into the insurance building, which is basically in the middle of Tilted. Now, if you recognize this building and know what this building is, it's an abandoned OG Fortnite player. Essentially, this building has got destroyed from every event that has ever happened in Fortnite, like the cube, for example, um, the meteor from uh, season four, season three kind of time, stuff like that. This building has absolutely just gotten demolished in the past, but at the end of season eight, when the volcano actually erupted, this building was the only building that survived and tilted, and that's why it's called the insurance building. If we actually go into it, though, it holds some secrets. As you guys can tell, all past events that have been at this building are right here. As you guys can tell, we have the volcano, which basically destroyed the rest of Tilted, but let that building survive, which is why it's called the insurance building once again. We have the cube, which basically destroyed the whole entire, I think it was like the um, the west side of the building. It destroyed basically that whole entire part of the building. And then obviously we have the rocket from season four there as well, because that was about to hit Tilted, as well as we have the meteors from season three and stuff like that. So just a lot of stuff in there right now regarding, you know, past events and stuff like that and stuff that definitely could be happening in the future it's basically telling us that anything is possible in fortnite and honestly i really think that neo tilted is actually going to be either completely destroyed or cut offline because as you guys know if you go to loot lake right now where the power line actually is it keeps getting worse and worse by the day and basically the line keeps getting more and more frayed and electrical sparks are coming out of it because it was actually destroyed by the polar peak monster so i really think that you know obviously if they're hinting towards that i really think that neo tilted is basically going to be destroyed or cut off line and basically get the whole future point of fortnite that's why i think that's going to be a, like a blast to the past pretty much where they actually go back to prehistoric times the reason why i say prehistoric times is because every season they leave hints in the battle pass as to what the next season will hold so there's actually two tiers that we're going to take a look at right here this one it has a bone and they always make it in the banners so right here this one basically just has a bone pretty much which is a dinosaur bone now if we go over to kind of like viking hill and stuff like that you guys know that this dinosaur footprint has been right here for a very long time and it's the exact same footprint as a t-rex so i really think that they're gonna be you know bringing it back to prehistoric times honestly at least that's what it seems like if you ask me especially since uh bunker jonesy was actually on the island by himself as you guys saw in the first trailer and then also the next tier right here you guys can actually see a t-rex skull which you know if you see a t-rex skull a dinosaur bone as well as a dinosaur footprint which is also by the polar peak monster footprints you guys you know just just connect the dots man just connect the dots and it honestly seems like that it's going to be, you know, bringing it back to prehistoric times. You guys know that at this time last year when they released season five, you guys would know that there's also a dinosaur bone and Moisty Mire and stuff like that. And they released dinosaurs over in Paradise Palm. So I feel like it's going to be, they're kind of going to be repeating themselves almost. It's just going to be, you know, a little bit different, obviously. 
so and then also just in general the thing that's been getting hyped up all season we have the polar peak monster versus the um the the robot from pressure plant that's getting built day by day obviously i'm pretty sure they just added the torso the legs have been there and the feet have been there but they're going to be adding the body and stuff like that very soon fort tory on twitter he's been leaking that kind of stuff so it looks like that this kind of stuff is pretty promising and that there's actually going to be a massive fight between these two monsters because there's actually been banners that have been putting up all around the map especially these two there's a couple more that i'll put on screen right now but there's two that i want to be specific about obviously there's you know take the high ground but there's also some stuff from world war ii references obviously we can do it which is you know basically from the we can do it from world war ii you guys i'm sure you know if you guys have uh learned about american history before you guys probably know about that and then we want you which is basically uncle sam saying we want you for the war these are world war ii things now i have a feeling that there's just gonna be a world war in fortnite and then it's gonna be cutting off all the futuristic things and it's gonna be bringing us back to you know season one two three stuff like that back when a lot of the futuristic stuff wasn't developed and the map wasn't whole developed a whole lot so that's why i'm hype man because honestly i don't like the futuristic stuff i did not like the futuristic theme of season nine i just don't like futuristic things in general and that's why season nine was kind of a bust for me but if they bring it back to prehistoric times and make it something like that dude i am insanely hyped guys let me know what you all think down in the comments below man season 10 at the moment seems like it's going to be a banger guys make sure that you guys subscribe to the channel if you guys don't want to miss on any season 10 news and also make sure you guys turn on the post notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any daily fortnite content lastly though like i said we have some major news coming out um from behind the scenes at usk on twitter and instagram so make sure that you guys go follow them down in the description man that would be greatly greatly appreciated but without further ado guys i'm out man i'll see you guys in the next video peace